What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent. This is Kate. Welcome to B&K Mukbang. Yeah. First time ever saying that. Uh, we've been really kind of overtaken with Mukbang videos lately. Wondering why we watch them. Yeah, uh, a couple nights ago in bed, she looked at me and said, why, why are we watching this? And I just told her, I don't know, as we continued to watch. And so watching them has really inspired us to be more adventurous with the foods we're eating. Yeah, because I'm not a seafood person. Kate's never been a seafoodie. I just recently. I've never, stuff like this I've never done. Uh, I think I may have had one or two in my life. Yeah, I've never ate lobster. I grew up, you know, in a Muslim house, and my father always taught us that you can't mess with stuff like this. Sorry, Dad. It's delicious. B&K Mukbang, what we're going to be doing is doing a lot of videos on food and something that we enjoy. And the beauty of this is we're going to try to stick to foods that are healthier, that have actually helped us in our venture for better health. And uh, mm-hmm. Seafood is a great place to start. So what are we what are we doing today? We went down. Where we go? Sam's. We went to Sam's. Yeah. The club. The club. Not the one that goes on your steering wheel. We went to Sam's Club and we got some king crab legs. I don't want to tell you guys how much this costs because it costs quite a bit just for that. And uh, what we did was we did a crab boil. So we boiled this with some. Crab oil seasoning, diced up some lemons, we uh, melted some real butter, we got some shrimp, Shrimp and a lobster tail, and I I got some, you know, I went to two different stores, I got these from Sam's, and then I went down to the Kroger and I got some of these that you peel. Why? Why not? Because we're going to do a mukbang. So, without further ado, what am I drinking? I'm drinking uh, shrimp. I'm not drinking shrimp. No, I said I never really had shrimp. Yeah, she's not really been a shrimp person. Um, I got some Old Bay to uh, kind of add a little bit of spice to it. And hopefully she likes it. I actually like shrimp a lot. She never has. Yeah. Uh, we're really I like excited. crab a lot after I've tried it. Yeah, crab is delicious. Uh, and so I got a Dasani Sparkling Water, the new flavor, the Blood Orange. It's delicious. And if you guys are into ketogenic diets at all, you probably already know about this kind of stuff. And I think... Just water. Plain simple water. So, what are you going to try first? I think I'm going to just... This shrimp shrimp here has been looking at me. Yeah. And you don't eat the little tail. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad. It's not. The opposite of bad. I think, like... The first time I tried shrimp, it was like real disgusting because whoever cooked it didn't cook it right. So that's what turned me off. Well, seafood has to have some seasoning. And your family doesn't really season food. They don't eat shrimp. It wasn't it was from a restaurant. Rationally. Yeah, my family doesn't really eat seafood. Oh shoot. I've seen lots of videos and people cutting these bad boys open. It makes it easier. It's so hard to... Like, it's so hard for me to... Oh, wow. It it actually looks... Scrum diddly umptious is the term. I see. Oh, these are real easy to cut. I like that. Watching, oh. watching other people eat seafood is probably the best thing ever. Kim Thai. We love Kim Thai. Is it good? Hell yeah, it's good. Mmm. Delicious. That's pretty good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go ham on that. I'm afraid of the lobster. I wonder why these things cost so much. I mean, isn't there like a huge abundance of them? You would think. Yeah. Or maybe they're hard to catch. 
Yeah, right. You I put, don't a, know. put a cage into the ocean and watch them just stroll on in. Do you know how they do it? Yeah, they drop cages with a little bit of bait in it. And uh, they all. <laughs> what, the little door like? And it's the funniest thing is when closed. they pull the cage up and they all look confused. Like they got caught watching porn. There's like a whole bunch of different types of crab, right? Mmm! Wowzers! Mmm! What is this? Part of a leg. It's really sweet. Mmm. I saw someone, I saw Kim Tai eat a 15 pound lobster. And as soon as she bit into it, she said, Oh, it was worth the price. I yeah, actually, that one bite. Yeah. I kind of understand where she's coming from now. Mm. I've never tasted lobster, so I don't know. Never? No. Nope. I just recently started eating crab, so it's all new. I'm totally surprised that. She ever even tried eating uh, crab because for the first five, six years of our relationship, she'd only eat tilapia. She wouldn't even try any other fish. Yeah. I was a picky eater as a kid. So. Our kids eat everything. 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 My kids will eat a plate of Brussels sprouts. And oysters. And like it. Mmm. These things always look really, really creepy to me. Yeah, they're like, that's why I'm afraid to eat it. He won't be offended, I promise. Tentacles and stuff. I think you cut it here. Down the middle? No. I see people cut it down the middle. I've seen people cut it on the sides, yeah. Well, I think these are already pre cut. What did I just do? Look. Yeah. Uh, it's already cut. It's intimidating. Little lobster. I always used to see them in the stores, you know, the little tanks you can go. <laughs> Death row? Yeah, pick one out. <laughs> They'd be looking sad as hell. Like, please don't bite me. Mmm. I'm going to try you. As a matter of fact, let me. There's already some lemon in here. Drop one, lost it. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. Fail. Right? And then go for the whole shebang and put a little bit of old bay on it. Bite on it. Chewing it. Is it good? Hmm. Yeah, you have to cut this. It's in the it? back. Oh. <gasps> cool. I told you they cut it down the middle. Mm. You did? And I didn't even eat seafood. You don't split the whole thing, you split down the sides, yeah? Mm. Can't get it out. We should just make a channel of watching people open seafood. Amateurs? Mm hmm. There you go. Pre-washed, clean, put a little bit of that Old Bay on there, man. Mmm. We shall see. First time eating lobster. Hmm? I got butter running down my face. Hmm. It's pretty good. Now I can see why some people only eat seafood. Because it's so good. Well, And not fattening. This is a ketogenic food. So, and one thing we forgot. We didn't put, get a bag or a trash bag. Yeah, I kind of just put it mm. off to the side. One thing that's happened to me over the years of eating shrimp and crab legs is I've always eaten just enough to not be full. So today I said the hell with that. 
How much is enough to be full? A whole paycheck. Or a night in the strip club. Mm. This is expensive. I'm sure if you live near the ocean, though, you can get your own, right? <laughs> I live in the ocean. Where's bread? Kitchen dinner. With a net. And a, a spear. spear. <laughs> yeah. A spear. Show's really good, too. Did you eat the big one yet? The big kahuna? Ooh. So spiky. It's, it's, yeah, it's soft, too. The other, the, pre, the pre-cooked the one from Sam's. Isn't that soft? No. See the scissors? Mmm. Oh, yeah. So bad at getting seafood out. Why you cut it Cause it stopped. There you go. See, it's fine. Mmm. That looks. That looks really good. Man. This is what expensive eating looks like. It's messy. Is it? Yeah, it's messy. There's carcasses everywhere. I'm glad I don't have the head. And the people eating have big smiles on their faces. I couldn't be like looking at the little head. People be ripping the heads open and stuff. <laughs> Get all down in there. Yeah. We tried crawfish three or four days ago. Yeah. It was intimidating. <laughs> I saw everybody on YouTube sucking out the back of the the head portion, so I did it. Just tasted like sweet air. Sweet air? There's no, no juice. Because juice. they're not in season. I don't know when baseball nut is in season at Baskin Robbins, so I don't know when the hell a crawfish is in season. Baseball season. I don't know when that is. Mm. Me neither. This butter looks like it's magical, like it's from the never ending story or something. You gotta try it on the else. It's better. But it's all big and has a little heat on it. Mmm, -hmm. sounds kinky. Heat? No, I don't know what you're into. Mmm. Now this, this is the mother. Ouch, my hand. Have you guys ever seen a video on YouTube of the thumping shrimp? There's a shrimp. It's like a, a ninja of the sea. Yeah. And uh, this shrimp. This shrimp goes around attacking crabs and thumping them with this appendage that's like in the center of its body. It's the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. It thumps off. Whole arms. Whole like claws. Just falls off. Just floats away. <laughs> it gets wore out. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like Conor McGregor of the sea. Mmm. That was fat. Fat? Yeah. Crabs have fat? She had a fat ass. Oh. It was right in her, her little digit. Ah, this feels heavy. This is like uh, the moment you're waiting for your whole life. Ah. This is, now I see why you had to stop. I see people bite these with their teeth. Yeah, I, I don't see how that. they can do that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Oh, jeez. I gotta jeez. show you guys this. 
Oh my goodness. The dining room is going down. Oh man. I've never had a piece of crab this big in my life. Really? Never. Okay. I want to eat it like a chick ate that pickle. Mm. This is unbelievable. Mm. It's messy. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Mm. They make you work for it too. Oh, you got scissors. Mmm. This is unbelievable. Mmm. I've got a piece of crab between my gap. Your teeth gap? Uh huh. sister would love to be here right now. Shout out to Giselle. Oh, man. Mm. This stuff is filling. Yeah. And then usually... Mm. We'll just get little ones. These are huge. Man, this is good. Put a little bit of lemon. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. <laughs> mm. I want you to get that one. We'll see. It's like a loot box. I want to see what you got in it. Overwatch. For, so for those who don't know, I'm, I'm also a YouTuber in the video game world, Visa Gamer, the Visa Gamer YouTube channel. And I've uh, taken a break, a hiatus from it. It kind of got stale for me. I stopped playing video games for fun and I started doing it for work. And once I realized that it happened, I realized I had lost my desire to do it. I lost my reasoning for originally doing it. So mm -hmm. I've been gradually getting myself back to where I used to be, enjoying games. And we've been playing a lot of games. Just today. playing them for fun. Recently, Call of Duty. Yeah. I mean, Black Ops 4 was awesome. I really like that. But in the meantime, World War II is a lot of fun. I not like it better. World War II? I don't know about that. Oh, then Black Ops 2, no. I thought Black you were talking about Black Ops. We still got like $80 worth of crowd to eat. We gotta eat this. Yeah. Mm. Let the kids try some. They're always scared to try stuff because it looks different. But as soon as they eat, oh, that they, was good. They love it. Man. That's how most kids are, though, right? Well, most parents let their children just say no. I don't need the money for that. Hmm. Is that water good? Yes. What's this like? Water. I knew it. Tastes like clear. It's the best feeling in the world. You do it so good. What do you mean? We're talking about food right now. Talk about getting the meat out of it. We're talking about food right now. This one's huge. 
I meant the claw. It's spiky. Man, this guy had all kinds of it. He's like one of those action figures from the 80s. Fully articulated arms. Like, bink, bink, bink. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, it does turn. I gotta move. There we go. True story. Before we decided to come and do this video, our phones were sitting in front of the microwave because uh, Kate was warming up some butter. And so our daughter decided to come and open the microwave door after we put the butter out and knock the whole thing of butter on top of both of our phones. Good thing they're waterproof. Are they butterproof? A we'll find thing. out. Samsung, you need to make butterproof phones. Yep. I know you're watching this video, Samsung. Butterproof. I got a pile of limbs. You got an ass in there too. The lobster ass. Tail. Oh, potato, tomato. Potato, tomato. <laughs> mm. Do you think if these animals knew what they were being killed for, they'd be upset like if a lobster was just minding her own business? And yeah, they do not. She found out that humans only wanted her for her two little hands and her ass. Yeah. And they're so, like, breakable. <laughs> they're not put together well at all. That's why that uh, thumping, thumping shrimp wears them out. Yeah, because... You attack one of these uh, joints, it's a wrap. Oh, okay. That was. Look, just slide it out. Man. Wow. I know Kim Tyler will tell me, Brett, get that meat. Get that meat in there. All of it. Oh my God, guys. Don't let oh it God, go guys. waste. She's our favorite. Mmm. We're living a dream. Why does my pile look bigger than yours? Because I got two piles. Hey, you're trying to play Tetris over there. Yeah. I'm stacking. See how high I can go. Uh, so we're looking for the answer to the <coughs> age old question. Why do people watch mukbangs? Why do people watch ASMR videos? What is your reason? Yeah. Why do people watch people eat? Or animals eat? <clears throat> now, let me just say this. I know that we're going to get some people upset. Because I hear Kim Tai always say this. That, you know, people send her messages. Shut up and just eat. But that's not our style. We don't do it when we're not on camera. We have conversations. How yeah, you have work to, today? You have to talk a lot. Yeah. Today's Sunday. Damn it, no work today. I think I'm over the shrimp. You're over it? Yeah. So, so over? Yeah, you got a couple of them left. I'll, I'll take those with me later on. Dukes. Pretty yummy. Mmm. Let's see. I don't think I can get into this. Mm. It's so flimsy. It's so flimsy. Oh. Jeez. 
Meat everywhere. Well, that piece of meat just flew up. Yes. It landed on your leg. Hmm. It's huge. I can't believe it. I'm actually getting full. Off of sea food. Yeah, off of crab legs. And lobster tail. And shrimp. Because this is, this is called king crab, right? Yeah, it's king. I think this is the first time I've ever had this kind yeah, They're making a, a, a oh my crab king movie. Kimiana, Ingwin, Amabana. Show down. That's a huge. Put it up next to your hand. It's like bigger. <laughs> it's as big as my hand. I've never seen you eat that much food. Yeah, let's do this. Gonna just. I'll be done after this. Mmm. You're gonna love that, girl. So how are you guys doing today? What, what's going on? How, how have we uh, invaded your time? What did we stop you from doing? You working? Laying in bed, watching us? That's what we do. At the end of our day, when we're, we're done, done everything. doing all the crap that Adult adulthood... Have to do. <laughs> we say like the same thing. This happens every day though, so... We've been together too long. Yeah. We lay in bed and relax and let our minds drift away watching people enjoy succulent meals. If you said all that, I would trip. I was... I know. What do you guys do for jobs? Kate, she works from home. We own a, a t-shirt business that we run from home. And I run a laboratory in downtown Atlanta. Mm -hmm. This part looks like it's, it's harder. That's the little claw digit. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the cat would like this. She just snot it and walk away. She, that's what she does to everything. Mm. This is really good. I'm pretty cool. You can help me with this one. That's the last one. You can, you can help me with that part. I'll let the girls help you. Speaking of girls, you guys probably heard what sounded like a scene from Hellraiser. Undoubtedly, it was our one-year-old protesting her, her sisters aren't giving her the toys at an adequate speed. Because, uh... She wants it all. Man, kids are a trip. We have five together. We have three together, and then I have two from a previous relationship before I met her. And, uh... Seeing what God lines up in your life sometimes is hilariosity. Because our daughter, Ellie, we named her, um... Tell the story who we named her from. The girl from The Last of Us. Video game. They don't get much ga more gangster than that. And we're done having kids. But if we ever have a son, what are we going to name him? Joel. Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Um, Joel's Kate's uncle's name. And he's also the main protagonist in The Last of Us. So. Two birds, one stone, two babies. Too much stress. I've never actually seen anyone kill two birds with one stone. I've seen someone do it with an arrow. An arrow? I think a stone would be harder though. You crazy? Yeah. When I was a kid selling candy in Ohio, I threw a two by four and knocked out a, a rabbit. True story. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's like sometimes animals look at you and they're like, you, you slow human. And when you catch them off guard. Like if you ever want to destroy a fly, move your finger over to them in slow motion. Because they have like hundreds of eyes. They can see everything all around them. And you see me do this many times. You move your finger like really slow and it, it makes it lowers their defense. And they're looking at your finger like, this big gigantic slug 
but at the time your finger is close enough to strike, you just build that tension and wham! Watch a fly hit the ground, spin around, wing broken, and you laugh and talk shit to it like it understands you. Flies have feelings too. Flies have feelings. New shirt idea. Okay. I'm done. Mmm. I can't believe it, but I am too. Mm-hmm. Well, the sad reality is, now we know how much money you got to spend to get full eating crab legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, well, looks looks like we could have saved ten dollars. <laughs> Sure, babe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I think we did a pretty good job. And watching us eat. Of um, our very first mukbang. Kim 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 is the one that made us want to do this. Oh, we said the same time again. I know. Uh, She she just has this magic about her videos. I love it. She's the best. Sass ASMR is really awesome, too. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. and more than likely, we'll do some more of these. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're trying to focus mostly on ketogenic foods. Yeah. Because I've lost over 30 pounds in the last couple of months on keto, and she's lost like 15. Mm-hmm. And so we want to continue living this lifestyle. Plus, it's a lot healthier. A lot healthier. It's much better for you. And so with that, be sure to give a thumbs up, guys, if you like the mukbang. Uh, let us know in the comments what you would like to see us eat next. As long as it's something that's healthy enough that we can eat it. Yeah. Please don't say um, candy corn. Donuts. Yeah. Those are off days. We had those about every three months. Because <laughs> we did have an off day and it did involve some serious Krispy Kreme donuts. Krispy Kreme is the best. Especially when the hot light is on. <laughs> yeah. I'm too full of care right now. I have two full of care. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.